Hey guys, welcome back for another Dokkan Battle video. Today we're going to be talking about the new LR Perfect Cell, the Extreme Physical Lead. Uh, he actually does both Super and uh, Extreme, but he primarily is going to be Extreme. Now, this card's pretty damn awesome. Like all the other LRs, he's going to be a four key leader uh, for the LR Extremes. And it's actually really good <clears throat> because it is very difficult to do, the, especially even still on the JP side, the Extreme physical event so when you're on super battle road there's not that many extreme physical units that are really good you really need to have dupe paths and dupe system in order to do it or get extremely lucky uh, if you guys have been following me i i still to this day and i've tried actively i've probably made about 30 40 attempts to do the super intelligence stage with my extreme physical team and holy crap i got to a point actually where i was able to get my dokkan meter off on the last last event and I knocked out three out of the five opponents, and there's only a, a sliver of health of health left on each of the enemies. And uh, I was still not able to take them out because I got supered before my next round. And I actually launched it with my full power freeze, and I, a, I brought a double um, Omega Shenron lead, so that way the, uh, the Shadow Dragons can do all the damage. If I got it with the Omega Shenron, the, the Dokkan meter, I would have ended up killing them, and I would have won. But whatever, lineups, you know how that goes. <clears throat> anyway... Um, before we jump into the cell thing, but make sure you go ahead hit that subscribe button if you guys are new here and you like Dokkan Battle content. I also cover uh, Do Dragon Ball Legends data downloads and updates and stuff like that, and a little bit of team building, so uh, stay tuned if you want to see more stuff like that as well. Anyway, let's jump into it. Trembling Message Cell Perfect Form. Now, I like how they gave him Perfect Form. He can, will link with other cells. Leader ability, extreme physical type, key plus 2, HP attack, and defense plus 70%. So his SSR form is already a decent leader for those of you who are just starting out. If you pull him, he will help you take on pretty much any event up until the last, uh, the, the 120 leaders. I don't think he can take on the 120 leaders or the category leaders. He may be able to take on some of the 120 leaders, but uh, may, we'll have to wait and see. I don't I don't think you, you he would be a better option to choose, let me put it like that, than um, some other leaders, unless you have like the, the Broly, the physical Broly. Anyway, uh, super physical type is key plus one, HP attack and defense plus 50%, super attack, energy field, supreme damage the enemy, recover 7% HP, that's super, super valuable, 7% HP, and that's at his SSR form, passive skill, perfect composure, attack and defense plus 60% when at the start of the turn, key plus one and attack plus 7% for every enemy on the field. Now, um, right now, it doesn't seem like that's too crazy, uh, super battlefield or super battle road can, will make that a lot better because there are usually multiple op opponents and when we get to his lr form he becomes an aoe so that means world tournament this guy is going to be a monster a monster and we're going to talk about that too when we get to it link skills are going to be gentlemen uh messenger from the future big bad bosses shocking speed and ultimate life form uh so he's definitely going to want to um sorry about that my cell phone went off um he's definitely you're definitely going to run him alongside another cell to make sure he gets all those off so that way he can aoe all of the um all of the uh, opponents. Anyway, um, category, he's only part of the Android category, which is still okay. It's not horrible. He's going to be very viable because there's not that many LRs on that category other than the free-to-play one. Uh, max stats, and honestly, you're going to definitely want to feed dupe system into him. Um, HP of 79.25, attack of 85.66, and defense of 39.91. Uh, uh, max base dupe system is going to be 99.25, attack of 10,566, and defense of 59.91. Um, and 12 key multipliers 140 percent you could also have this guy this bad boy over here farm to increase his super attack which i definitely recommend doing um this is the cell perfect form he is going to be available from this this form the cell event over here uh you got to get the cell uh, cell fusion cell first form from the horrific cell games event you're gonna have to go down here and you're gonna go to stage one level one the cell games on z hard Get this guy. This guy will get... You don't even need to get him to super attack. You just do super attack one. You're going to get nine of them. And then you're going to Dokkan Awaken him with three of these medals, which is actually really easy, considering that this is only three and you have the event that drops seven now. And then he'll Dokkan Awaken to sell perfect form. Then you have to Z-Awaken him from there to get the 100% chance. I know it's a lot. If you guys uh, spend money on the game, just use your freaking Elder Kai's, uh, because this is a pain in the butt to do the damn grind. But uh, it's worth it if you're free to play, because even though it'll take some time to get him to super attack 10, you'll at least be able to do it. Um, and he Dokken Awakens, let's see over here, he's going to Dokken Awaken with, let's see, the medals from the event as well, so let's bring that up over here, these are the medals that I was talking about for the, for this guy over here, this is the Goku medals from the Horrific Cell Games event, which we also already talked about, um, the original one was level 2, the Extreme Terror, where you have drops between 1 to 6 of them, 
Um, he drops seven level three waking nightmare. You just go ahead and you do the cell the, this one. Uh, honestly, you can see him as an AOE if you get it. Well, obviously you're not going to be able to do when he until he's an LR. You bring an AOE, you knock out the first round of opponents. You have LR, LR Broly or OG Broly, something like that. That AOEs that'll make this a little bit easier. Then you have a tech type and a strength type. Honestly, if you bring a, a mono intelligence team or category if you have a good category team you'll be able to take it on if you guys are experienced fighters you already know you can beat this without any issues because he's an old 100 percent leader anyway seven at a time you drop get 14 uh was it 14 you need what three you need th nine so nine times three is 27 so seven that's that's what seven times to three times to get 21 um so yeah you're gonna need to run this event five times in order to get all the ones that you need uh, actually, no, uh, four times to get all the ones that you need, because that way you'll get all 28, then you can Doken Awaken nine of them, and you can go from there, and you will be fine. Anyway, um, when he Doken Awakens, this guy Doken Awakens into starting the Decisive Battle Cell Perfect Form. Leader ability is extreme physical type key, plus three HP attack and defense plus 90%, which right there alone is awesome for new people. I mean, the event itself, if you have, uh, even with a 70% leader, obviously you're not going to want to bring Cell because he's a physical, and you're going to go up against the... Um, uh, a, strength, a primarily strength stage on this event, but um, once you get him to this form, you're pretty much golden uh, for brand new players, because this is going to be able to take on a lot of events. You also have the super type, physical, uh, key plus two, HP attack and defense plus 60%, super attack is energy field, supreme damage to all enemies, he is so he's an AOE, uh, and recover 7% HP, which is freaking phenomenal. Now, here's the thing, this is what I wonder. If he does supreme damage to all enemies and recover 7% HP, is that per enemy? I think it's not. I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be uh, all e for each enemy. It looks like he's just recovering 7% uh, HP, which definitely makes sense. But supreme damage to all enemies is freaking fantastic for his TUR form. And mind you, his next form, his LR form, has a different name, so if you get two of them, link them together. Uh, his passive skill is total confidence, attack and defense plus 70% at the start of the turn, key plus 1, attack plus 8% to every enemy on the field. So he's still, again, his passive and innate, his innate passive isn't amazing with attack and defense plus 70%, but he will be debuffing or uh, tanking a little bit better. He still has a 70% buff. Uh, supreme damage, he's an AoE unit, which means oh, if you have more than two units or more than one unit, uh, you're definitely going to be doing a lot more damage to the opponent because you're obviously going to be doing double the damage or triple or quadruple up to six times. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Link skills, he gains fierce battle, which makes sense. You definitely want that to be on their team. And he's part of the Android category saga still. Max stats are going to be HP of 93, 56, attack of 95, 78, and defense of 46, 63. Uh, his uh, base dupe system is going to be HP of 11, 356, attack of 11, 578, and defense of 66, 63. The 12 key multiplier of 145%. Now, in order to Doken Awaken him, you need the Ultimate Clash Medals, which looks like only you get from the Baba Shop. Um, so you're going to need to go into the Baba Shop to get the Clash Medals and whatnot. Once you get them, you will be able to Doken Awaken him. Okay, yeah, 7 times 28, 50 stones. Yeah, you're going to definitely need to go ahead and do that. I definitely recommend getting him to LR status as well. He's a very awesome unit just here alone. Um, I mean, honestly, when you Doken Awaken him, like, his Link Seals, everything other than Legendary Power... Um, yeah, he has Gentleman, Messenger from the Future, Big Bad Bosses, Shocking Speed ultimate life form and fierce battle he literally other than legendary power he links perfectly with himself so you definitely if you get two do not dupe system in keep them together because they're both aoe's um death invoking cell games cell perfect form and cell junior this is such an awesome card it's such an awesome lr leader ability is extreme physical type key plus four hp attack and defense plus 100 percent extreme physical or super physical type is key plus two hp attack and defense plus 70 percent so not horrible for a super obviously a super lead super attack is energy field 12 to 17 key and violent disaster 18 plus key. His first one causes colossal damage to all enemies and recovers 10% HP. Um, his violent disaster raises attack for one turn and causes mega colossal damage to one enemy. So, what even makes him better is that you don't need to get him to 18 plus key to do an AoE. You just need a 12 to 17 key, which is a lot more viable. Obviously, if you get him 17 key, you're going to want to try to hit 17 key for the most damage with AoE. Uh, but that's what you're going to want to do. He's a very awesome unit. Mind you, um, he also has a passive skill, attack and defense plus 90%. Now, a lot of people are like, oh, 90%. Remind, just remember, he is an LR. He does colossal and mega colossal damage, and his base stats are ridiculous. Um, key plus one, attack plus 10% for every enemy on the field. Obviously, this is going to be a lot better for a world tournament and even Super Battle Road because he's going to be able to give himself those AoEs. And honestly, the AoE units on Super Battle Road are super viable. It makes it so much more easier. All the ones I was able to do early on in the game was literally just because I had AoE units to do it with. We already talked about the link skills. He just gains legendary power. So, I mean, when he's if he's linking with himself, right, you're, he's going to have two key, um, four key, 
uh, five, six key. So he has six key with himself. He's, if he run a double lead, that's going to be eight key plus six key is what? That's eight, nine, ten. And then four, 14 key right off the bat. And then let's say he has three or four. I mean, honestly, well, th th that's also a problem right there. You're not going to probably want to run a double him if you're trying to get the AoEs off because you're probably going to get it too too much uh, because the key plus one for every enemy on the field. You're probably going to be getting 18 key a lot if you do that. But because of that, you know you're going to be getting 18 key. And if you're going up against one enemy, that makes life a lot more easier for you, a lot easier for you. Um, look at this, his max stats, I mean, even though his attack and defense is only 90%, uh, his attack stats 15,955 without dupe system. With the base dupe system, it's 17,955, and if you get any dupes, if you choose to do that again, I don't recommend it, you get uh, 20,955, which is insane. His base dupe system for HP is 17,963, and his base dupe system with the actual dupe system involved is going to be 19,963. Defense is 8,700, um, without dupe system, with dupe system, it's 10,700. Very awesome unit. I mean, and when he's linked to himself, I mean, the attack plus 500 is kind of whack, but he gets big bad bosses, he gets fierce battle, um, so those two are going to be pretty decent. I mean, fierce battle is going to be his only attack link that's going to be on 100% of the time. Big bad bosses are when your HP is below 80%. Um, and I mean, the fact that he recovers 10% health on his AoE, it's going to be harder to get that, but I mean, Super Battle Royale will definitely be a thing, but other events maybe not so much. Plus, obviously, he's an LR, he's going to tank a lot better, especially with that 90% attack buff at the start of the turn, which means you can put him in the first slot and he will be doing very, very good. And honestly, if you're trying to do AoE, you're probably going to want him in the first slot because you're not going to want him to link with anyone else in the middle as being in the middle because then they're going to make him get that 18 key. Um, let's see. 12 key multipliers, 150%. 24 key multipliers, 200%. Uh, full 24. Yeah, we're not going to do that. Super attack level is 20, which increases the super attack by 30%, which happens for all LRs. Raises attack for one turn is a 30% uh, increase to the super attack modifier. So overall, he's a very, very good unit. Um, I mean, in terms of the other cells, I mean, let's go to Ultimate Life Form real quick, because that's pretty much going to bring up all the cells. Uh, I just want to take a look at what this guy can do um, with himself, because I think, yeah, skill Ultimate Life Form. I mean, you could also run a full cell team now, pretty much, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, we I want to stick to the TUR, so let's see. These two right here, what are they, what are they actually linked with? Um... He doesn't have Revival, which is interesting, but he has Messenger from the Future. Big Bad Bosses, uh, Ultimate Life Form, and Fierce Battle. So that's not horrible. They're not perfect Link buddies, but they can Link. Um, gentlemen, I mean, obviously, with if you have Gentleman and uh, Shocking Speed, it's going to make it a lot easier because you definitely get those key. But having him linked, if you only pull one of them, which most of us, if you pull an LR, so usually you're only getting one. Not a lot of us will be able to pull two of them. But yeah, this cell is not bad, especially because he has his easy A. Uh, this is perfect cell. And this one is Cell Perfect Form, and Cell Juniors, obviously, so they can link together. Not to mention his, um, well, actually, his TUR form is Cell, oh, yeah, Cell Perfect Form. So the three of these guys can run on the same damn team together. So you literally have one side running with Perfect Cell uh, and the LR Cell. The other side, if you have a friend LR Cell, you have a friend LR Cell with this Cell Perfect Form. And you're going to be doing so much damage and tanking everything, you won't have to worry about a damn thing with that team. Oh, my God. And if you're running it on a double Android LR uh, or a double Android-led team with uh, Super 7 or Android 17, holy crap, it's awesome. You just have two 17s off rotation, and then you bring, like, the free-to-play Android freaking uh, 21, who's a support unit for these guys, and it's just going to be insane damage. Uh, in terms of this cell, which a lot of us probably um, have because he's just an easy... Actually, is this one? No, this is the GP cell. I'm sorry. Um, this is the cell I was trying to think of, uh, for linking. This is the cell that probably everyone has. But the GT cell can also be run on the team, by the way. Um, he has, I think they have the same link skills. Uh, big bad bosses, attack, uh, ultimate life form, legendary power. Or, sorry, fierce battle. So they, they he shares the same link skills as the, uh, the technique one, so you're not gonna really run them together. In terms of the GT cell, obviously he's not gonna have GT. He doesn't have nightmare, they don't share nightmare. They do share sh shocking speed and gentlemen, which is awesome. They share... Oh, he has sh uh, Shattering the Limit, though. That kind of sucks. Uh, well, you know what? It's not horrible. It's not a, it's not a really bad thing, but they, they do have four key, which is pretty good. Uh, actually, you know, Ultimate Life Form, Gentleman, and Shocking Speed. Uh, they share six key, so the GT cell is going to hold up very, very well with him in terms of linking, buddy. Um, and then what? there was the other cell. I think, is this one? Is this the free... This is the Perfect Form cell? Oh, no, that's the um, LR variant. We Actually, he's going to be the SSR that you pull from GT, right? Um, uh, no, this is going to be, this, what is this, the World Tournament? This is a 24th World Tournament cell, so let's see, do they link together? Um, gentlemen, messenger from the future, yes, big bad bosses, they don't have Kamehameha, they don't have Nightmare, but they have Ultimate Life Form, so th that's not bad, actually, the, the last World Tournament cell is going to link decently with him, 
Um, who is the other one? I think it's this one, right? This is, no, this is the self-perfect one. This is the uh, LR variant. And this is the GT form. So, gentlemen, Shocking Speed Ultimate Knight form. So those are going to be the ones that he links with with him. So they're going to be able to link together for some decent link skills. Well, all the cells link very well together as long as their names are different. Um, but pretty much you're going to look for uh, Cell, Perfect Form, GT, uh, Cell, uh, Perfect Form, and Perfect Cell. Uh, then you have the LR, which is uh, Cell, Perfect Form, and Cell Junior. So you have a whole bunch of guys to link together. And as you guys can see, this is why I did the LR Cell video separately from the World Tournament video, because this is going to be a lot longer, and I'm already at 15 minutes. But uh, yeah, guys, that's it. Let me know what you guys are hyped for. What kind of team are you going to be running? Do you have all the cells? I'm very happy that they gave us an extreme physical unit that is an AOE. Oh my gosh, because I like the extreme physical team. I always have. If you guys have been following me, I've been saying this for like a year now. It's probably my favorite extreme team out of everyone. And now that they have this cell, I mean, I'm not going to hunt for him when he comes out on global, but I'm going to actually summon for him. So I'm probably going to start saving my stones now for him just because I want him. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys are new, and I'll catch you down in the comments below. Peace out, and have a good one.